Hey guys, it's Wish here again to talk about our upcoming Cottagecore single SSR event and the news we spotted in our index. Cause they are so suspicious, like I bet the hell is coming with the next index update. Because, come on, three single SSR pavilions in a row in a welfare? That is so not like paper. Anyway, let's start critiquing. But first, a quick reminder that the Green Pastoral suit costs 7 to 10k diamonds. It's under Pigeon Kingdom, and it's a green attribute. The designer is of course our best girl, Nikki. It also comes with the spring flowers background that I can't find a bigger picture of, unfortunately. During the event, you'll perform some sort of play, so I'm curious to see what that's about. Let's check out the suit. You know, when I first saw the suit, I thought it was plain and almost dismissed it like I did with the last Yashao Dragon event. That one sucked to me. But then, I looked at the suit more closely and at the individual pieces, and it grew on me a lot, actually. The reason for that is, the suit is pretty simple looking, like it doesn't have a lot of parts to it or even a jacket item, and it looks like any other cottagecore outfit. The basket is a statement piece which means it caught my attention first, but everything else just seemed forgettable. And that's when I realized the strength of this suit is that it's so general. The theme and color scheme is so typical of a flowery outfit, in a nice way of course, which means you can easily mix and match its accessories with most other suits like it, when going for nature or countryside theme outfits. To prove my point, let's take a look at the future free crafting drink series, Gleam, and Farm Event suits. But firstly, if you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe, or I might just curse you with bad RNG forever. Anyway, see this pumpkin latte suit? The pastel orange and cream colors really pair well with the muted green and cream suit, and I bet the flower basket will tie the suits together since it also has orange. As for the Sunflower Gleam suit, the colors are so close to this original suit that I bet their parts can be used almost interchangeably. This Red Apple Farm Freebie is a bit harder to work with, but I think it goes well with the flower basket since it also has red, a plaid pattern, and probably the hair fits too because of its natural look. And this last welfare blends together well too. The point is, the colors of this suit are really versatile and easy on the eyes, although I don't think the recolor is as useful. It's kinda too dark. Let's move on to the individual parts. By far, the most interesting and worth it piece is the basket for me. I don't see anything as lively in game and the flowers are so detailed, and it's a pretty large prop so I think the future styling competition will use it a lot. Since the flowers are so many different colors, it'll tie together the color scheme of a lot of outfits. The hair is my second favorite, like, it's so satisfyingly braided and has adorable flowers on it. What else can you ask for? The rendering looks high quality unlike the plastic looking Yashao dragon hair, and it has a nice grassy tint. Her head wrap accessory is also so detailed and cool, I've seen nothing else like it in game, even though I don't know if it's versatile due to its unique shape. The dress is pretty solid too, though I wish it had more separate parts. The ribbon bow at the front is so silky and cute, and the flower details are awesome. I'm neutral towards the golden leaf hair clip thing since it's barely noticeable, but it adds a little detail in hairstyles when zoomed in a bit. Now to the parts I'm least happy with from this suit. The shoes kind of look like a brown lump, but I like the natural look. Reminds me of those Minecraft dirt paths at the villages. <laughs> the socks are kind of forgettable, though they're not ugly. The top part might look a bit obnoxious, but they're probably not too difficult to style since they're quite plain. But as a whole, I think this is a safe suit. What I'm saying is that none of the parts of this suit are ugly or niche, meaning that it's less risky for you to just pull 10 to test your luck and stop without completing this suit. Cause even the most mom boring piece, the leaf hair accessory, I think, seems high quality in general enough to be used with a lot of outfits. Unlike a lot of other suits where you'd have like one or two useful items, so if you're unlucky, you'd be like really disappointed with your early pulls. Which is why, out of all the new suits in the index currently, if you're gonna get anything, I suggest you go with this. Since I'm saving for the upcoming hell event though, I'm probably only going to test my luck with like a 10 pull and hope I get the basket or something. Make sure to comment below what your favorite part of the suit is, and I hope you enjoy the critique.